Ottawa author and teacher Caroline Pignat is a two-time Governor General's Literary Award recipient. Now, in her latest nonfiction book, she journeys with teens to help them know how much God loves them with All I Am, a Catholic devotional for discovering who you are in God. So hello, Caroline. Thank you for being with us Hi. on the Wednesday Bookmark. Thank you so much for having me here. That's so, great. Now, first of all, as an author of several novels, I want to know what inspired you to write this 90-day devotional tool for teens. So I love writing for teenagers, like all of the books that I've published have been for teenagers. And I've been writing uh, devotions for over 20 years for little living faith kids. Uh, I wrote them for uh, living with Christ, actually the one coming up this Advent, uh, the fourth Sunday of Advent is mine in the living with Christ for adults. Um, and I always had this dream to, to write a devotional with just my own devotions in it for, and for teens, because that's what I teach. That's the age I write for and the age that I teach. Mm -hmm. So that's where the idea came from. Yeah. I mean, you are a high school teacher, like you just alluded to, and I just love that you put a lot of weight on your responsibility to guide this generation. So thank you for that, first of all. Uh, But what are some of the struggles that youth are facing today when it comes to identity? Because I know that's very much what this book is about. Yeah, well, I I mean, we all struggled with self-esteem when we went through those stages of t- the teenage years. And my kids are in their 20s now. But, you know, when they were younger, I did a lot of reading about self-esteem and what is it that helps some kids have a healthy, steam, healthy self-esteem. And um, a, a lot of the stuff I read about was talking about a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose, a sense of identity, feeling secure, um, and knowing your abilities and, and, and having uh, a purpose for that. And, but they were all secular, right? So when I found uh, the idea of, actually, Kathy Cook has a great uh, resources, Kathy Cook has great resources for parents about that. I thought that would be a great thing to have for teenagers that they can read themselves, so that they realize that they, they have a sense of belonging because they belong to God, you know, that, that they have a, a purpose because it's found in God, they have a, a abilities specific to them because of the God, gifts God gave them. So just kind of breaking that down into the the pillars of self-esteem and then each one kind of unpacking it over three weeks mm-hmm. for each of those pillars. So they, they have short little reflections. They have uh, a scripture quote. There's uh, inspiring quotes by saints or uh, um, popes um, and just inspiring people. Um, and then a journal prompt. So I, I've used it with my own classes, but the kids could do it themselves if they had the book that they could uh, take a prompt and either just think about it or journal about it. I'm huge journaler. So I always encourage that. Yeah. that that's always been how God speaks to me um, very clearly. So, you know, I, it make me stop. It makes me stop and reflect on uh, where I'm at and how he's in my life. So mm. that was the goal with this was to kind of, Focus on what's most important and help the kids just take it in bite-sized pieces over the 90 days that they do those reflections. Yeah, and I do like how it's broken down, but there's also a lot to it. Like we were talking off air how there's a lot of, um, you know, first of all, there's a lot of easy Bible storybooks for kids out there, but I feel like there's also a fair number of devotionals out there, but sometimes it's either not enough on a page or it's too yeah. much on a page. And I like what you've done. You've combined a good a good amount of content there and reflection and these like a digging deeper questions to ask themselves. But I also, we were talking off air a little bit uh, about um, just again, what makes these books unique. Um, and I know that you have written it from a Catholic perspective. Catholics, um, you know, Christians, we're all followers of Jesus. But w- what is different about this book, do you find? Uh, I think it's the the self-esteem approach, that it, it's it's that their identity is rooted in God, like getting back to the basics of you belong to God, God loves you, God created you for a purpose. Like I, I had that in my in my head, if a student's leaving my class you know, and the only thing they take away from that are, is that message, then that to me was a success, you know, that they, that they, they know that they, uh, they belong and that they matter and that they have gifts, even if their gifts are different than everyone else's. And it, it's helping them uh, know themselves better by knowing God, right? Yeah. It, it, it's so hard. They're look, they're on social media, they're comparing themselves to all these crazy things they're seeing online. Um, and, and, and even with the pandemic, just all of the the mental health challenges we've had over the last couple of years for students, it just seemed like, even though this is a project I've been thinking about since my kids were small, Mm -hmm. this was the perfect time, I think, for it to be coming out um, because it's empowering them to 
to grow in faith, you know, to help them uh, uh, get to know God and see themselves mirrored in that relationship, yeah. you know, in relation to that relationship. And that to me is the truth that never changes. So yeah, regardless of your denomination that, you know, I, I have uh, uh, lots of students of different denominations mm-hmm. in my classes and, and they all take something from it when we work on this together, yeah. which is wonderful. Yeah. I mean, I did. I got something out of it. I mean, my <laughs> husband and I had this conversation because our kids are still very young. And in this world of, again, like identity and kids just trying to struggle with who they are, like, I just say, like, I don't want to have this conversation with our kids when they're like, my son's three years old. Uh, but what I'm going to put the emphasis on is who they are in God, like who yeah. God has made them to be. And so I love that you've divided the book into sections. And like you said, each day refers to something about God, but also relates to who the reader is. Um, Mm -hmm. No, I like the section you touched on it already, uh, this feeling safe. Uh, What characteristics of God do you point readers to to help them feel safe? For the the three sections in there that uh, God is merciful, so I am forgiven. God is ever present, so I am safe. And God is trustworthy, so I can be confident. And and we have uh, a week's worth of reflections on each of those three points, so that hopefully by the end of it, they realize like if God's merciful and omnipresent and trustworthy, everything is going to be okay, even though some things maybe don't seem like that in in their everyday life. You know that they they it kind of gives them a perspective um, and the security that He yeah. is always with them and He's watching over them and He has a plan for them and you know, in such unsettling times that we've had in the last couple of years, even as adults, as I go through these things, there are things I need to be reminded of. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I, it, for some kids, this is the first time they're hearing it. If, if it's not something that's talked about at home or the parents just don't have the words to express it, mm-hmm. it, it makes those things clear for them, I think. Yeah. And, and I like that for me, when, I, when I'm journaling and something kind of inspires me, I treasure it and then I move on to the next thing and then I forget it. So... I had on the seventh day in the journal, in the program, that every time they come to the seventh day, they're supposed to rest and remember. Mm -hmm. And I started doing that in my own journaling, where on the Sunday, I would look back over what I had written, even if I'd only written once or twice that week. And what was the the nugget that I got that week, or the treasure, or the grace moment that, you know, inspired me? And and hold on to it. Remind Mm -hmm. yourself of it. Because we sometimes forget. We're so in the moment. And, you know, especially with social media and things like that, you're constantly Everything's going on quick. to the next thing, the yeah. next thing. Yeah. So t- teaching kids how to slow down and make space for God, yeah. but also remember all the great things he's already doing in their yeah. lives that they Pay attention. forget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Being aware, being self-aware. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just as we wrap up, I know I actually read that you said once that you see a quote, eagerness in youth to make a difference and the optimism to think they can. So just as we wrap up, what actions are you calling readers to by the end of the 90 days? I'm hoping that they're going to feel confident in who they are and see the need for that in our world, right? Like we, we even talk about Marvel superheroes in our class and how, you know, they're, they're, they're so different and they all have these unique traits, but that's exactly what in the fictional world, those, that's what the world needs. And in the same sense, the things that make each of us different are exactly what the world needs. We're not supposed to be all the same. Mm -hmm. And I want them to learn, um, by getting closer to God, they'll have a, ch- a better chance of knowing what that is and, and living it out in their daily life with confidence and joy. I mean, that, that, as a parent, as a teacher, that, that's exactly what I would want. And as a writer, that's what I hope for, mm. for the readers that read it. Yeah, so good. And I know there's one section, too, when you talk about uh, helping young people see that everyone else was also made as a masterpiece by God. So, Absolutely. Yeah, moving yeah, outward, Dignity. Too. Yeah. Yeah, so our, our our motto at our school, because it's modeled after Mother Teresa, is love and dignity. And so that's something I, I keep coming back to with the students as well, like loving yourself and treating yourself with the dignity you deserve, but also the other people that are all around us. Yeah. yeah. Wow, there's so much in here. Well, we're going to wrap up, but again, it's All I Am, a Catholic devotional for discovering who you are in God, Caroline Pignat. Caroline, thank you for, again, guiding the next generation, including the teens right here in Ottawa. I really appreciate your time. Wonderful. Thank you so much for inviting me.